Okay, today I just missed a good shot of the temple. I'll get a better shot before we go. But today we're heading out of Manny over to Ephraim and uh, over to Joe's. Joe's Valley Reservoir or something like that. Big giant reservoir. Um, check that out, see what that looks like. All right, so we're heading up out of Ephraim. On, uh, what's the name of this road? Is it Ephraim Canyon Road? Yep, Ephraim Canyon Road which uh, we should be able to take all the way to the reservoir. Got some nice houses. Look like all newer ones up this way. up on some four wheelers we gotta drop our speed speed change to 20 miles an hour here for some reason looks like a nice canyon though I don't know how long the road stays paved but uh, I think I'm gonna wind up passing these guys let's see what it looks like around this corner here Understand the 20 mile an hour though. I can see in the well, it's closed in the winter. Uh, still climbing there through the mountain, still a paved road. It might be paved all the way, I don't know. It's paved on the other side of the reservoir, you can tell that on the map. But. Equestrian riding area, apparently. constant uphill all the way to 8,900 feet. Now it's kind of flattened out a little bit. And you can see this is a blue line on the deer. Blue line on the uh, Avenza map. up in this bigger trees. Got a place for them to corral the cattle when they got cattle running out here. Guessing that'll be our road over there. Going up 
up and around the mountain. Don't look like that's been used for a while. Well, it was open just a minute ago, but you're able to see that we're up above a bunch of mountains over there already. We'll get another clearing to show down there. So, looks like there's another trail you could take. It's on the European map. Grassy hills up here. And, uh, that's the place down there. It said log homes. I don't know if they're going to build them or if they're buying them. 10,000 feet right here. Did I say build them or buy them? Yeah. Another, wow, a couple places up there. No, yeah, no one's living there, but yeah, that'd be a neat place. Oh, there's some stuff over there. Back in the, that looks like a travel trailer back there. Man, that's a nice big flat. That'd be beautiful. Looks like a good place to run cattle. So there's a lot of wind noise in this section of the video. So I'm going to try a little voiceover for the first time. So this area here is a lot of meadows, lots of little places for people to camp. Um, getting close to the top of the hill. It's over 10,000 feet up here. And up ahead, there's a junction where another road runs into it. You'll see that we passed the trail there on the left, right there. Um, that heads off somewhere. We didn't go down it. We were in route to go meet someone for lunch. So um, this, this area up here is absolutely beautiful. So if you ever are in the area and you take some time to go up this highway to the top, there's a board up ahead here that has information. Kind of tells you about the valley and the way they got the water run and some history. We stopped at that spot and... My buddy's back tire had a hole in it, so we put a plug in that, and then walked over and read the board, looked at the views, and I thought I took pictures, and there were videos, but I either didn't push the button right, or gremlin ate it, so I don't have that available, but this is a beautiful spot that you must check out if you go to the area, if you're into looking at beautiful scenery. Alright, so we're dropping down now once you get to the peak. Lots of nice places for camping up here. Yeah. Well, now we know for if we want to come up and dry camp next time. But it is nice having electricity. But that's what they make generators for. Sealy Creek. That must take you to that. Oh yeah, the guard station. That's what that is. So Yeah, road's a little narrower here. Not so much a big old wide, yeah, that must be, oh yeah, going the other way it stayed bigger. Look at the big old rock next to the road, that's cool. It's a good sightseeing road. Another camp. Yeah, and if one had to, you know, if it was crowded. Of course, we can always camp out on the end here. Or over here. I'd probably just go over there. I my own little area. Nice view here. A bunch of cheese.
Pretty country. Got a hole in the tire on the other general. So we got a patch. Go ahead and pull over and make sure it's still holding air for him. I think we might be getting close. Man, that's clean looking. Wow. Pretty amazing how clear that water looks. It's a nice color. Looks like you'd be able to just look right down in it. So this stretch of the highway, this is, uh, what is it, 29, 23? 23. Nope, 29. Uh, it's the highest speed limit I've seen. It said 45 for OHVs. Other places we've been, say 15. So there's a boat out there on the lake. Going around, there's supposed to be a newer campground. On the other side, we're going to meet someone at lunch. We had a lunch and a visit at Joe's Valley Reservoir. Now we're going to go, and there was a thunderstorm that came through. Right now, it's not raining. Now we're going to go up to the corner of the reservoir here where this yellow, yellow is it's supposed to be a 66 inch trail we'll go check that out and see what that's like that water level is supposed to be probably a good 20 feet higher than that looks like it's way down never think to turn the thing on when I go through the gatekeeper they had like a little bridge thing that went up and over. Long wheelbase uh, doesn't like it. Smack the bottom. <laughs> but it keeps uh, the wide vehicles out of here. We'll cruise on up this and see what we have. They've got all these water bars in here. Well, they're not all water bars, but I don't know if it's a warning of what's ahead, because some of them are pretty steep, and they're short, so long wheelbase might kick some, kiss the bottom a little bit, like this. Interesting. And it shows on the uh, Polaris Ride Command, it goes up to that fork and then comes back down, it just doesn't let you know it's a... 66 inch trail it sells you it's a road oh. you got all desert and then you got a grass flat area. Other than that, it looks like there's a couple of homes over there. Looks like we're coming to a cattle grade. Or we're probably just going alongside that. Yeah, there's a trail that goes that way. Our trail goes this way. Got a cross out on Jeeps. No Jeeps this way. But, but if it's an old flat fender, it's only 60 inches wide, so it, it should be able to go this way. A stock flat fender.
There's some water that runs down this canyon. I didn't have the camera on then either. Good job, Mike. Good job. So you gotta be 50 inches to keep going that direction. So this kind of looks like it's just a road with bumps in it that goes through the desert. Oh well, it's something to check out. Maybe we'll see an animal or a prairie dog. We'll see a prairie dog. Or a deer. Or a bird. You don't know unless you go check them out. Oh, oh, here's another one of those little gate things like the front had. So, we'll show you this. wonder why it has one right here. thing is set at about 70 because we're 66 and a half. That's one, one, not right at that's one of the things I was worried about. That's why well, I asked him to ask when he called him if we were to put the aftermarket wheels on will be a couple inches wider. Right now we're stock and we're still wider than you're supposed to be. But we could always crank the suspension more if we had to be narrower. Yeah, if you get more height, it'll, uh, they come in. Back to the road we came down to the reservoir on. So see the reservoir again from a little higher elevation. <laughs> you can see on here the red lines are where we've been already. The brown is the road we're on. So it'll come back out where we uh, came in on. But there was just a little valley you went down through. Definitely not difficult but you know something to go check out. You're in the area. South, alongside the um, uh, what's that called? Joe's Valley Reservoir, and it's part of the Airpeen Trail, according to this map here. And it's on that one also. But so this will take us down to some other trails, and then we circle around, go back up north a little bit, and then over west into Banty. If we were to go the other way, we'd go up above Manti and then drop down into it. So this is probably a little bit longer, but it's an area that we haven't gone on before. It's 320. So let's see if we get back while it's still light out. I'm going to continue heading south. Right now it says southwest, but south. And uh, this road doesn't show up as well as the others. So. We made a wrong turn. 
you go a little bit and then the GPS starts showing you're on the wrong track so you turn around you blow the GPS up more so you can see exactly where you turn then you can't see what's coming up ahead so it's a catch-22 they say this is a more difficult so like I said a little earlier if it says more difficult, it usually has little bumps, wash, uh, water bars, things, and rocks. And we've come across water bar things and rocks. <laughs> and they, uh, every once in a while there's a bump. It doesn't really seem like it's a water bar, it's just a bump. Some of them are big. If you timed it right, you can probably catch air on a couple of them. Uh, a little more exciting than a boring old smooth road but it's not so rough that it beats you up so you like some mild and off-roading in the wilderness here you go that probably looks pretty cool when the water's flowing some of these probably have water ripping across them in the, in the winter and when the snow's melting You're just driving along, all of a sudden, you got this little spot like this. Looks like everything washed, washed out, but those rocks, I don't know where the water's coming in at. Huh. You coming down that valley, or it's all washing away? So here's one of the things they do for a gatekeeper. If you don't fit through there, you don't belong on the trail. Am I good on your side? So now we're on the 66 inch part of the trail, which apparently used to be a 50. It's on my buddy's map on the right command, it shows it as a green trail. Still good on your side? Several inches. I could have the aftermarket wheels and still fit. Even the spare makes us an inch wider. in my recovery skills, huh?
of the 66 inch trail was a little more fun than some of the others have been. Still not difficult, but if uh, you're someone who gets worried about being close to an edge, some of those spots were pretty close to the drop off into the where the water runs in the winter. Looks like it opens up for a little while. You see, ah! you go straight, you go down there. As long as you're paying attention and your equipment works, not a problem. All keys, equipment working, paying attention. Be filming while you're driving. This isn't really leading by example, is it? Not really. <laughs> well, power steering works really good in this thing. work. Thanks. You good? Got a little rocky technical section here and there's the road right up ahead of us. We're almost out of it. and it was really wet, it'd probably be quite a challenge. That's a cool little section. I like this. You want the job to be boring. When it gets exciting, it's dangerous. Parking lot and bathrooms right up here. So that means this trail is a destination. They got a parking lot and everything. Now we got Long Bridge to go across. Wide enough. Uh, okay, watch your it's side. Huh? Watch your side. Seriously. How are you? I'm good. You got about two, maybe three inches. You're good.
No, it's got a little lean to it. <laughs> yeah. He shouldn't have a problem. He's well, his body's just as wide, but he doesn't have the tires sticking out. Because he has the flares, he's as wide as we are that way. They're not messing around with that one. Cramp. We got another little one here, just in case you get by this and you got to do the bridge. Uh, he started getting the cramp as soon as he got onto the bridge. He needed to get out and stretch. Huh? Oh, no. So I don't see the bathroom. They said there's supposed to be a bathroom. Oh yeah. Well, they got a little parking area, a restroom. Oh, information. I just saw that. Oh, so this is called Dragon Trail. The trail is closed to motorized use each year from December 1st to April 15th. Protect wildlife. The trail bridge was purchased by Utah State Parks and Recreation using OHV recreation fees. It was installed by the Mantee National Forest in 04. That's cool. It's cool that they're putting the money back into the damn place. And look, they say no Jeeps right there. But, like I said, a flat fender Jeep is 60 inches wide. And your your Wrangler isn't a whole lot wider than we are either. Yep. Some water flowing. So now we're up on uh, 022 Main Road. Quite a bit of water, really. Pretty much dry. I seen a puddle down there, but nothing else really water. like this from where I live. Here they logged some areas and then they took all the debris and it looks like they ran through a chipper or something or ran a brush hog over it all. It's all kind of chewed up and laying flat. It's got some material to break down and make for good soil. I like the way they're doing that. That's pretty cool. Let's see up here if we can get a closer shot of it. We'll get close enough for you to see on the camera. All that brown color you see. 
out there is whatever branches and chunks of wood are left has just been chewed up. Pretty cool. Which way to go?